Hey guys, it's Spy Cat, and this is Random Pickups, episode 30. I got two big pile of movies, guys. I got a bunch of stuff for a good price, and I'm going to show off my two piles that I came home with from Berkeley. Let's get this thing started. Alright guys, the first movie I got today, guys, was a Manhunter, double disc edition. This is a really cool edition. It's a... Uh, one of those limited ones that's only out of a hundred thousand. It's out of print. Anchor Bay. I only got it for two ninety nine. Red tag deal. Buy two get one free. Um, it's really cool though. Let me open this thing up. And I already was looking at this on the bus, but it it has these like files here. I'll get it out. As you can see, guys, it has this confidential Manhunter file thing. Look at this. This is cool. It's got the case number, some uh, artwork and stuff. Look at that. The original uh, poster. I like that. That's really cool. It's got some pictures of the movie and stuff. That's pretty cool. Richard Dreyfus. I think that's Richard Dreyfus, or I'm really going to sound like an idiot. <laughs> oh, well, it looked like Richard Dreyfus. Might not be, though. I don't remember him being in this. But, uh, this is good. This is like the original, uh, Hannibal Lecter. And it's cool that Anchor Bay, um, put this out, and it's like a limited number and everything. Getting it for two ninety nine was a score, for sure. And then it's got, like, the chapter thing. But I like this. This is like the real... I guess this is the real, like, Hannibal Lecter's drawings or something, or maybe it has to do with the movie. Really trippy stuff. Look at that weird symbolization on there. That's pretty cool. Well, let's get back to the movies, guys. And then I happened to find this thing for only five ninety nine. I mean, the cover alone is like this hologram, you know, it's kind of cool. It, like, does all that and everything. Uh... Kind of cool, but it's got the slip cover. I got it for five ninety nine, and it's a three D version. The three D version, uh, three D Blu Ray version, usually are pretty expensive. So this being five ninety nine, I collect all covers and DVDs of any Texas the Chainsaw Massacre movies in my collection. So uh, this is really cool to add this to it, even though I usually don't collect three D. In fact, I think this is my first three D. Except maybe some Disney ones that might have came with the DVD or something. But that was that for five ninety nine. I also got a steel book, a steel of a steel book. It's a limited edition. This is what I'm looking for on my steel books, and it looks like it's brand new, never been opened. Really cool that this was only four ninety nine red tag deal. So I got one free, so it was like four bucks. Um, pretty cool. Nice steel book, and I like these limited ones. This is like this other one I had. I'm going to do a video on my um, steel book collections probably within the week. Uh, get that over with. You know, show off my steel book ones. I have a lot, and they're they're all out of print. They go for more money than you usually paid for them and stuff. Anyway, guys, I hit the dollar bin. I found this thing for, that's right, guys, one dollar. X-Men. 1.5, with five hours of extra behind-the-scenes footage. And a bunch of other crap that probably no one's going to watch unless you're a big freak uh, collector. But I can add this in my Marvel uh, section of my sci-fi movies. So, um, you know, I want to have all the, all the Marvel movies. Especially if I can get them for a buck. I got, uh, this one I paid four ninety nine for. This is Robot and Frank. Um... I need to have this movie in my sci-fi collection. There's not many good robot movies. Bicentennial Man, um, I, Robot, I'm for, uh, Chappie was a good one. Yeah, AI, Bicentennial Man, Chappie, this one, of co course, Robocops. But, um, and I think there was another new one. But anyway, guys, I had to add this to my robot sci-fi movies and there's only about like six or seven but uh that's how a collector like me is <laughs> robot and frank looks like a good movie 
Um, Rogue Unrated. I love these type of movies. These are just like the Lake Placid movies. And um, Frank and F Fish. And um, a couple other ones. But this looks like a cool crocodile one. And I love the whole Lake Placid movies that came out. And uh, Rogue Unrated. I never even heard of this. But this is going to be great. This is cool. There's not many uh, killer like crocodile movies. Killer like anaconda movies. I love movies like that. And uh, glad I could add this to my movies like that collection. <laughs> I got this puppy right here, guys, for only $3.99. Um, Danny DeVito. Matt, one of Matt Damon's uh, first movies. It's in the package. It was only $3.99. This movie right here, I like... It, you know, it wasn't that good, but... It's Matt Damon. I collect any movie he does, except, like, the newer stuff that isn't that good to me. Um, and I collect, like, lawyer movies, like courtroom dramas. And this is definitely going to go in my video of big pile of movies. It's going to be courtroom-based, courtroom dramas, and court cases and crap like that. <laughs> Coming soon, guys. Don't worry. I'm going to do all kinds of crazy stuff. Actors, everything. I'll do like the Jack Lemon, Walter Matthau collection, Burt Lancaster, Clint Eastwood, Tom Hanks, you name them, I'm gonna do them. <laughs> so stay tuned, subscribe, and like, and all that crap. And I don't do it for the money, you guys. I do it for the fans of movies. I'm an addict. I hoard these things up every week, a couple times a week, actually. I'm addicted to it. I get that little small ass check of mine, and I blow it all on these movies. So, anyway, guys. The Rainmaker, glad I could add this to that collection of court dr dramas and all that crap. I got Final Destination. I, I have the original snapback case. Um, but the thing is, all my snapback cases are um, in a cabinet just because they're a different size and I'm all OCD about it looking like perfect. So um, I have Final Destination 3 and now I have 1. Well, I had one, but you guys know what I'm saying. The The snapback cases can't be with the regular cases, you know? It's just how I am. But anyway, guys, Final Destination's going in my collection. It'll look good next to the part three, and I need to find part two. Sleeping Beauty. Oh, this is a good one I found today, guys. I had, like, I returned some movies. I got, like... 12 bucks in store credit and when I usually get store credit I say hey I'm just gonna get a nice expensive one just to have it an unopened Disney movie because you know it's like if I have 20 bucks in cash it'll hurt a lot more for me in my head in my collecting crazy head if I get um if I get that you know what I mean so I got that for $14.99 guys with $12 store credit, so it really cost me like two bucks. It's the, uh, this is the first Sleeping Beauty that came out, um, on DVDs. And it's really cool. It's got some, it's got some, um, the Disney ones always have something different than even this, the next one that comes out, like the, uh, Sleeping Beauty, the newer version, um, doesn't have a couple of the special features that this one has. And I like these first ones that Disney came out with, how they have that book, um, Lion King's like that. What was the other one? Uh, Beauty and the Beast is like that. And now I have this one, Sleeping Beauty. So I have the th top three that were like this open storybook type of thing, saying all the features and all that. But this is really cool. I'm glad I can add this uh, sealed Disney thing in my uh, Disney collection. And I do have a Disney collection on my uh, videos, guys. You just have to check. Go to, like, most liked vi videos, most popular for some reason. All the A couple of the Disney ones and my Christmas videos. For some reason, those are, like, the five videos that are, like, go over, like, 1,000 to 500 or something like that. But, um, anyway, guys, I also got another dollar movie. X-Man 2, only for a buck. Really cool. I gave my, um... Fast Pass, like Bus Pass, got a buck off, and you get one free if you buy $3 ones. So, um, this thing could have cost me like 70 cents, guys, and it's like in great shape. I love this silver package. The only, or no, it's not silver. I'm tripping, it's black. <laughs> yeah, it look kind of silver. I guess it's the case, but that's a cool case. I wonder if it's got a, uh... 
Oh, it's a, it's a two disc edition. That is cool. I mean, seventy cents for a two disc edition is just outstanding. And look what I mean, guys. Because uh, it's from Amoeba, it's not going to have any scratches at all. Little like hair from the cat cat hair going around in the room, guys. But uh, that was only a buck or seventy cents with the deal. And uh, really cool. Got that to add to my Marvel collection. I got this one for a dollar, guys. Christopher Walken for a buck. Saturday Night Live. The best of Christopher Walken. Only for a dollar. That was a score. Or, you know, 75 cents. We'll just say 75 cents. The Day of the Year Stood Still. I got this one for, I think, two ninety nine. It's the original issue, meaning that it's the first DVD that came out. Um, the first DVD release of this movie when it came out on DVD. Something like that. Yeah. That's what I meant to say. Who cares? <laughs> $2.99. Glad I could add this to my sci-fi collection. That's a real early one, too. And I also got The Odd Couple, guys. The Odd Couple, I already have... I already have every season of The Odd Couple. But this thing was only $2.99 for the final season, which is really three-disc edition. I mean, I can give this to someone. These I paid, like, Thirty nine ninety nine at Tower when uh, all the odd couples first came out like ten years ago, so um to see three ninety nine tag which averages like two fifty, um for the odd couple final season is really cool. So glad I got this movie. And this movie right here, guys, I had this movie. I don't know why I sold it, but I was looking for this movie for a long time. Berkeley Amoeba has everything. So um finally. Found this movie, have this movie, the double disc edition awaiting. I love this just because I'm a waiter and uh, always work in restaurants and stuff like that my whole life. So uh, I love waiting movies and this kind of, these are great. And I finally found part two. Andy Milanakis is in, oh yeah, he is in part two, that's right. But this is a good movie. His character is hecka funny, man. When he, uh, in, in the first movie, he like is scared to use the bathroom or something, dude. It's so funny. These movies are great, man. But uh, these are great. A lot of raunchy humor and, and stuff in these movies. So got that for three ninety five. dollars We're actually on the pile of uh, Rasputin now. So the last stuff was from Amoeba. And this stuff is from uh, Rasputin. Rasputin has a 3 for 10. Anything that's three ninety five dollars is going to be 3 for 10 bucks. So um, one of those movies was The Waiting 2. Over there. And that was really ghetto. Because now you guys saw my uh, phone charging. Well, I almost had a non-ghetto video today for you guys on random pickups. But uh, I managed to be all tacky and show you guys that. So anyway, guys. I got Rocky Five scored. I was looking for this movie. I misplaced it on the last episode. I, I was all depressed because I couldn't find... Rocky 5, because I bought Rocky 3 two times, and I needed 5, because I collect any Rocky movie, version, anything I want in my collection. And um, the thing about this is this is the last one I needed to complete this set, which I have underneath this. And now, even though that, I mean, it's obvious that part 4 is like really sun-drenched <laughs> on the side of the movie. So I, I'm definitely going to have to get another part four just to kind of or actually three and four kind of sun drenched but uh on the sides but oh well i have the collection now that's all i wanted i can get the others on another time but the one i got today is, let's see has the uh original paper on it which i like and this is the the best movie out of all of them except part one to me. I mean, this is when he loses all his money. He goes back to the Bronx. Go, or not the Bronx. He goes back to his old neighborhood. And um, it's not even in New York. So the Bronx didn't make any sense a at all. But uh, 395 I completed my Rocky set. I'm going to do a video on all my Rocky movies because I love them. I have tons of different versions to show off for you guys. So I'll do that at another time. But anyway, guys, I got Johnny Lingo for $3.95, The Legend of Johnny Lingo. These are the movies that are really hard to find and seem to go out of print because they're not really that, like, popular. They don't have any actors in them. Um, 
But this just seems like my kind of movie when I was a kid. And even though it was 2003, that's still when they were still making kind of good movies. And, um, kids-wise. And this looks kind of cool. This would be something I would watch as a kid. So I wanted to have this in my collection because I just never see it. I got another Steelbook Steel, guys. This was part of 3 for 10. So, um, it was like 333 or something like that. Is that what it was? Yeah, 333. Because 3 for 10. <laughs> but anyway, guys, this is cool. It's a double disc edition. It's got all the paper and, and, and crap that's in it. In perfect shape. Steelbook. I mean, I got two Steelbooks uh, on my journey. So this is really cool. And this cover is just bad. <laughs> I mean, look at that cover. It's like... That's better. This this cover, even though it's not the original cover and poster, like I'm really into that. Always the original posters that you saw when the movie first came out. Um, this isn't that, but this is a cool cover. It's even cooler than the original one of him, like, you know, how he is. <laughs> I got Miracle Worker. I'm a collector. I have to have this. Didn't even know about this. But um, she made really... Li not that many movies, very little movies, and she's very little, <laughs> and that was her prime when she was all little and stuff, um, but she, she got famous in the, uh, milk commercials, uh, got milk, and she had the milk mustache and all that, I think, and, um, then she was in Bicentennial Man, um, she's in a couple movies, Bicentennial Man, yeah, and a couple more, <laughs> But she's cool, and I like to collect any movie with her. And this is actually a movie about Helen Keller, I think, when she was younger. So this, and, I mean, this is like her only movie role where she's like the main star. But uh, my light went off. Only got two movies anyway. Waking Up in Reno, I got this one part of 3 for 10. What Patrick Swayze movie I didn't even really know about. I mean, I kind of remember it, but not really. Billy Bob Thornton it came from a video store. And these are the movies that, like, really didn't make that much money. So they're kind of harder to find. And only video stores like Blockbuster, Hollywood Video, This Means Hollywood Video, um, would have the, these, like, rare movies. But they have a good actor that I collect. Patrick Swayze, Billy Bob Thornton. I tend to collect, like, any one of their movies if it's just a good actor in my collection. But this looks pretty cool. They go to Vegas and stuff. This will be great to watch. Patrick Swayze. R.I.P. <laughs> Ernest in the Army. Ooh, this one I'm hella glad to get, guys. Because it has Ernest Goes to School. I am an Ernest fan above anything. I'm faithful to Ernest as a childhood comedian out of anyone. There's nobody better for me. Ernest Goes to School has only been on VHS for a while. It's worth money. Uh, Ernest Rides Again, the DVD is worth a lot of money, 100 bucks or something. And um, I guess the only way you'll get Ernest Goes to School is on this triple pack that's really hard to find. And I found it for one one ninety five. I mean, I just got it for Ernest Goes to School. And, you know, I collect any any version of Ernest movie that there is and that I don't have in my collection. But this is great to finally find Ernest Goes to School. And I'm still going to keep the VHS original because that's not really an original. I got some 95 cent movies. Um, this movie is a totally gay ass movie and I'm probably not going to watch it. But because it was in the 95 cent thing, because I think that it's out of print um, from what I know, it might be worth some money. I just snagged it. It was 95 cents and it's got... Um, it's got Patrick Stewart, the, uh, you know, Star Trek Deep Space Nine guy. And um, I think I glanced at this movie, like, on, like, Showtime or HBO. And it was funny. It wasn't, like, too gay. And, you know, I don't, I'm not really going to watch it if it's too gay. But just because of the acting of him and it, he doesn't do very many movies. Uh, I got it. 95 cents. <laughs> Probably not going to watch it. But as a collector... I'm going to make some cool sets and sell them on eBay. That's probably going to be in the sets. It was 95 cents. <laughs> and this one is great. This one, I collect any Bank Robin movies, guys. And this one was 95 cents. It's got Brooke Shields in it. I don't know who uh, Dylan Walsh is. But um, 
looks really cool. There's really not that many bank robbing movies around. I have like 20, 30, 30 movies. <laughs> Anything to do with bank robbing, I, I want that movie in my collection. And I'll do a separate video on bank robbing movies. There might already be one up, but I wasn't really proud of it. Like I wasn't really proud of the last drama movies that I've been doing. But uh, <laughs> I'm going to redo a lot of stuff. And the bank robbing one, I want to redo just because I'm adding this one to it. So this is going to be great. And two more things, guys. Like an idiot, I really I just watched somebody that had this whole gold collection, so I'm shooting to get that whole gold collection in my collection. And um I messed up and already have this movie. I got this for 4.99. I'll give it to someone or something, but but it's kind of different though, and I'm going to show you guys. I got this one to add to my Disney collection, uh, gold collection for three ninety five. Rescuers Down Under. You can be gypped on the gold uh, banner things. It could be a remake, and I'll show you uh, how to tell that. But um, anyway, guys, I'll show you right now my gold collection of the Disney ones, just because to show you that I'm, I almost have them all. All right, guys, so here's the Robin Hood, the one that I had. And it's a little different, like this is the better version. I guess I got the one that I got cheap today. And it's got this weird ring around it, so it's a little bit different. Let me show you that. That's totally ghetto, guys, but who cares? See what I mean? Like, who would want this version right here that I'm shaking, obviously? And, you know, you'd rather want this one. But it's still the, it's still the original gold banner, so it's really weird that that would be like that. But you know, they're different, so it's kind of cool that even though I bought a uh, copy of this, it's somewhat different on the disc. I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, guys, this is the gold collection too, even though it doesn't say gold collection. I kind of count this as a gold collection because it has a, any anniversary set. And this one's just a uh, toy story. And you know what, I have a bunch more gold ones, but I'll just show off the ones I grab to make sure I didn't buy it twice, which I did. Hunchback of Notre Dame is a weird, like, original. I don't know if that's a gold one. <laughs> Bugs Life, this is a gold collection right here, original issue. Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. That's a gold one right there, kind of cool. So I know I'm getting close to having all the gold collection. This is the one that's worth money. This is the original one that came out was Pinocchio. And just the original cover is... I remember I paid $49.99 way back just to have this. It was the first out-of-print movie I ever bought on DVD that was expensive. But that cover alone is... You never see this in Amoeba anymore, that original cover. And I love it. And here's like a kind of gold collection, I guess, but it doesn't really say gold collection. It's still got the gold thing on top. And here's what I mean, guys. You see, this was a gold collection, but it doesn't have the the gold shiny part like that. Here, I'll show you. Like that. So as you can see, you want that original gold, or it's a bullcrap copy. <laughs> so, um, that's it for my video today, guys. Hope you liked it. That's the pile of crap movies and... Stuff I finally filled my collection on the waiting movies. I filled my collection on that Rocky one. Got a gold one to add to my gold collection. Got a bunch of dollar ones. You know, and uh, yeah, this is one of my favorite things in the world is this Pinocchio gold collection. I love this thing. See you guys next time.